Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Hunter Seeker, a legendary grenade. Now what makes this a legendary grenade is this grip tightly red text. Now what is this a reference to? This is actually a reference to the Dune novel, where I guess one of the characters has to catch a drone that's hunting him and he says grip tightly. If you guys think it's from something else, please let us all know in the comments because I would love to know. Now, what does it actually do for this grenade? Well, when you throw this thing, it comes out and it flies really slowly directly towards an enemy. It homes in on them and it just shoots rapid fire at them. It's not like crazy fast, but it puts out some decent damage when you do it. Um, I have seen this in Corrosive Electric. Um, I'm pretty sure it comes in other elements. So if you guys have it in a different element, please let us know in the comments. I believe the best prefixes you want for this are ones that multiply them like cloning or anything like that this is just a very plain one now for the way it looks i mean i don't i guess the only special thing on this grenade would be the skin here this black with like the gold outline in the background uh it's actually kind of hard to notice and it's not really a big difference but like who really cares what grenades look like it looks like just a normal teodora one and now for my personal thoughts and overview <sighs> do i like this grenade i don't know but you guys can see it just shooting at that enemy down there but it didn't hit it that many times but it can have the potential to put out a fair amount of damage. So like if you could get, say, a cloning one of these or one that gives you like three or four at a time, it could add up to a good amount of damage. But the fact that you have to do them at range makes it, it's just a really, really weird grenade to use. Um, the damage really doesn't seem to scale up into Mayhem 3 at all. Um, it wasn't even that impressive on my modes or anything. But it was better than the flak, but I just try and keep a good baseline down here and use everything on my flak. But you can see, I don't know, I'm really, really, really torn with this grenade because I want to love it because it's fun, it's gimmicky, it's different. But at the same time, the damage just, like, a hex is so much better. If they nerf the hex into the ground and firestorm, I think this grenade might become one of the better ones. You could buff this a little and it would become a fairly strong grenade. But as it sits right now, there's just ones that are so, so much better. What are they shooting at? I have noticed that sometimes they do bug out like that, but I guess if they're gonna turn around and come back and shoot at this thing, ah, they also just don't work 100% of the time properly. Um, there's a lot of melee mobs in this game and this thing homing in on targets. Like you can't really control what it's gonna go after or shoot at. So if there's a psych or something running really close to you, it's just going to blow up on them instead of uh, shooting at enemies, which is also a huge, huge downside to this. If you're in a group and just running a support, I think it would actually be fairly good at just hucking around and throwing damage around. But every time I think that and say that, it comes back in my head, it's like, just use a hex. It does the same thing, but with laser beams and it hits like 30 mobs at once. So, yeah. That's my short overview, guys, that I do not like, but I like this grenade, and it could be good, but it's not good. It wouldn't take much to make it better. It's fun. It's interesting. So I'm going to go with, let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comments, what your guys' personal opinions of are. Do you like using it? Do you use it? Which prefix do you like? Just fill me in on this grenade even more, as I'm so torn on this thing. It, yeah, I just need to stop talking, guys. But anyways, if you're looking to get one of these things, it's a complete open world drop. It can drop absolutely anywhere. Mine dropped off the very final boss of the game, so if you want to go farm her, you can. I'd say I'm worried about spoilers, but I'm not. But I just can't remember the name of her off the top of my head. And she's forgettable. And if you like this video, guys, appearing above me here, there should be a playlist of a whole bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, think about subscribing, liking, commenting, joining the community, being an awesome member of the community, watching all my videos front to back, to help my analytics, and be an awesome person overall, guys. <laughs> And I will see you in the next video. Dig big out. I wanted to talk really, really fast right there. It was really, really odd. But here we go. Now we're talking even faster because I want the thing. My mouth's going really, really fast. And you guys can't really understand me because I don't freaking know. Goodbye. Outro.